Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve this interesting math question. A square minus B is equal to 4 to 3 and B square minus A is equal to 4 to 3. We will find out what is the value of A and B in this interesting math question. So how to solve this question? So first of all, I can say it is our first equation and it is our second equation. I subtract first equation and second equation. This time I can see it will be a square minus b minus b square minus a is equal to 4 to 3 minus 4 to 3. Then this equation becomes look, it will be a square minus b, here is plus, so plus minus it will be minus b square minus minus it will be plus a is equal to 0. Because of that, 4 to 3 minus 4 to 3 it will be 0. Then I can see easily here is a and this is minus b so it will be a minus b plus and here is a square minus b square is equal to zero then this equation becomes look here is a minus b times so here is plus and a square minus b square it will be a plus b times a minus b is equal to zero then I can say here is a minus b is common so a minus b so this divide this it will be 1 plus this divide this it will be a plus b is equal to 0 so in this case we we'll find out here is two case uh, our first case is a minus b is equal to 0 and other case I can say is little b 1 plus a plus b is equal to 0. So in this case, I can see easily here is a is equal to b. I just move on this minus b in right side. We'll find out here is positive v. And in this case, I can see easily here is a is equal to minus b minus 1. This is positive. But when I move on this b and this 1 in right side, we'll find out here is minus b and minus 1. Then I can see that here is a is equal to minus is common so it will be b plus 1 but remember that our first equation is a square minus b is equal to 4 to 3 so I can say our first equation is a square minus b is equal to 4 to 3 and again I down here is a square minus b is equal to 4 to 3 then uh, here is a is equal to b so i can see easily it will be b square minus b minus 43 is equal to zero then i can say uh, here is b is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 a c over 2 a so it is a quadratic equation so in this case i can say here is b is equal to minus and b is minus 1 and here is plus minus square root b square so b is minus 1 whole square minus 4 a is 1 and c is minus 43 c is minus 43 over 2 a a is 1 then i can say here is b is equal to minus minus it will be positive 1 plus minus square root minus 1 whole square it will be 1 plus because of that here is minus this is minus 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 it will be plus 4 times 43 so i can see it will be 172 and here is 2 then i can say here is b is equal to 1 plus minus square root 173 over 2 but remember that a r and v is equal so i can say easily here is a is equal to 1 plus minus square root 173 over 2 because of that a and v is equal but others case look a square minus b is equal to 43 then a is equal to minus b plus 1 so i can say easily it will be minus b plus 1 whole square minus b is equal to 43 
then i can see easily it will be b plus one whole square minus b is equal to four three because of that minus power is even number it will be plus then we know that a plus b whole square it will be a square plus two a b plus b square and here is minus b is equal to four to three and here is b is one then this equation becomes i can see easily here is b square and here is positive to be a negative b so it will be positive v and 4 to 3 uh, plus 1 it will be minus so minus here is positive 1 and this is minus 4 to 3 so it will be minus 42 is equal to 0 so at this moment if i do factorization this time i can say here is b square plus 7b minus 6b minus 43 is equal to 0 because of that we know that 6 times 7 it will be 42 then i can say here is b is common so b plus 7 and here is minus 6 is common so minus 6b divide minus 6 it will be v and here is minus because of that here is minus minus it will be plus and 42 divide 6 it will be 7 is equal to 0. then this equation becomes look here is b plus 7 is common so it will be b minus 6 is equal to 0. so in this case we have find out here is b plus c 7 is equal to 0 or b minus 6 is equal to 0 so i can say here is b is equal to minus 7 and here is b is equal to positive 6 but remember that we are, we are not that uh, here is a is equal to minus uh, b plus 1 so i can see it a is equal to minus b plus 1 so in this case i can see easily here is a is equal to minus and b it will be minus 7 and here is plus 1 so it will be a is equal to look a is equal to minus 7 plus 1 it will be minus 6 so minus 6 times minus it will be 6 and here is b is equal to c 6 so we know that a is equal to minus and here is b plus 1 so i can say easily b is 6 so 6 plus 1 it will be 7 so it will be minus 7. so we'll find out here is when a is equal to minus 7 this time b is equal to 6 and in this case we'll find out when a is equal to 6 this time b is equal to minus 7 and in this case we'll find out when a is equal to 1 plus minus square root 1 7 3 over 2 and this time b is equal to 1 plus minus square root 173 over 2. So this is our final answer. Thank you all. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe my channel and like this video. Goodbye. Take care.